Peter Dyke and you. Tell us why you're here today. Well, Sinn Féin are gathered here today at Central Bank Plaza with a very clear message that the bankers who were involved in the corruption to date, none of them have faced arrest, none of them have faced a day in, in prison cells, not to mind the full rigours of the law. And Sinn Féin are here to support the ever growing demand that the bankers should be charged where appropriate and face the full rigours of the law. And it's an absolute disgrace that the, the areas we live in, the people we represent, are paying the price for the corrupt criminal actions of bankers. And not one of them, not one of them, has been arrested. It's a shame on the whole system here. Fianna Fáil, the Green Party, Fianna Gael and Labour are now a coalition of forces protecting the bankers. Alan Jukes, former Fianna Gael leader, sat silently on his hands and now rink, like, like Pontius Pilate washing his hands of any responsibility. They're all in it together and the only party I can see who's standing up for ordinary people is Sinn Féin and that's why we're gathered here today. But I don't want my children and my children's children paying for the sins of the bankers. Enough is enough. These people should face the full rigours of the law, much like anybody else. Well, we're here today to protest that the, the, uh, uh, about the Anglo tapes and the insulting um, language that came from those tapes and the behaviour of the bankers and the damage that it's done to our country. So we're here protesting today to show our this, this taste of all that has happened over the last number of years and the massive, um, you know, the massive um, amount of money that the Irish taxpayer had to put into Anglo to save it. And we, you know, we find it very deep, deeply insulting that the president present um, man that's in charge of Anglo, Alan Jukes, is a man who's saying that he knew about the tapes and yet employed the same people. I think it's insulting to the Irish people.